Hi, everybody. It's Cornelia Stephanie, Lady Boss. I'm with my beautiful co-host, Diane Solano, the energy entrepreneur. Hi, Diane. Hello, Cornelia. And we're back again Friday. It goes by so quickly and it doesn't at the same time, but so many things have happened <laughs> in the last four weeks. Can you imagine? I mean, our whole world has turned upside down, even though um, you know, four weeks ago, we were already in this virus that was already happening, but certainly not in the scale that that it's happening now. And certainly not with the level of intensity of where we are now, it certainly wasn't there. And also, it really has given us the opportunity now as entrepreneurs, even more so to look at how we do our business, to look at how we do our uh, marketing, how we do, how we can, how we will continue to show up in a world where so much is changing. And we, we've been good, Diane, you and I, and many of the other people, entrepreneurs that have been, you know, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, mompreneurs that have been working from home. We've been good at this because we've been doing it. And now even more so we're positioned to help other people now working from home from a universal level. That's the message that you're bringing with us today, that this is an opportunity and uh, it's time for us to embrace that inner audit for our purposeful emergence is what you say, right? That, well, that's exactly it. You know, there's always an opportunity. One door closes, the other one opens. And it's really up to you on how you want to see this. That's ultimately life. There's every, 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 every reality exists. It just depends on which one you want to plug into. Which one do you want to show for? Which one do you want to create out of this? You know, there's all, I, I've often said, and it's happened to me because I've lived it. You know, one of my most darkest hours, it was a gift from the universe and the ugliest wrapping paper ever. So the purpose of this call is to help those people that maybe never thought about doing something online. And, and those that have, well, how can we step up our game? And, and those that maybe you know, are, are, have never even, you know, thought about it before, or maybe know someone that has, I mean, it's really about sharing our gifts, having the conversation, giving perspective, giving different tools and different angles to think about. And I'm kind of excited for this topic. You know, I was, I was talking for the company that I've, I've worked with and joined forces with, they made me do a work from home Wednesday, where it was like, okay, now is the time for not to go deer in headlights, rather take a moment and reassess and look at the gift that was given to us by the universe. As difficult as it is, and I know there's many people suffering, I'm not going to not acknowledge the suffering, but sometimes contrast gives us an ability to sit down and say, okay, what is working and what is not working? And let's step up in our game and in our message when it comes to sharing with the world. And everyone has something very special to offer. I don't care if you're a mompreneur, if you're, you know, lady boss here on the series, if you're already a big author, or maybe you're someone that's just dipping your toe in the water, deciding, hmm, what can I do? What can I offer the world? And maybe it's not a whole business venture, but really it's about stepping up our game in life as well. It doesn't have to be related to business. Working from home can also be being more effective at home and maybe enjoying the space at home as well, because our home is our sanctuary and it should be. But we've been so used to running around and just trying to make ends meet all the time. And now that we're asked to stay in, what can we do? What can we look around and say, hey, how can I make this my sanctuary so it elevates me? Because when I'm elevated, I'm showing up for my family, for my friends, and for the earth, the new earth. It's really about a new earth emerging. I saw a quote on Facebook. Everyone's commenting. And again, decide what you want to plug into. Every single conspiracy theory is out there. Every single point of view is out there. Which one do you want to show up for? Here's what I know. There's a commonality amongst all of us. We want the truth. We want transparency. We want empowerment. And we really want to lead with our hearts. That's the consensus. So we have to remember what is the big picture. And sometimes people get caught up, you know, in, in diddly daddling about, you know, this is right or this is wrong. Or, and it's nice to share and to collaborate, but let's not get dark about it. Let's stay in the light so we can keep moving this 
propelling this change forward all, out of us all, really. That's what it's about. Yeah. Yeah. So this quote I saw, it was like, okay, you know what? It's like the earth asked us to go back to our rooms, <laughs> like a timeout to really think about what we're doing. What are we doing? You know, um, prior to, I, I was, I just did a show on the heaven on earth platform and uh, talked about, talked about, you know, even for right now, for what, what some of the best practices that we can, that we can, um, where we can be, and that is in our level of gratitude and really look at the gratitude, how there's many, you, you talked about the challenges, but there's also so many good things that are happening now. And, um, you know, you and I, we're doing this show here from the comfort of our own home. We've been doing it from the comfort of our own home. And, you know, like now Ellen, uh, the Ellen show is done from her home. The Jimmy Kimmel show is done from his home. Uh, the talk is done from their home. So, it, you know, we're, we've been leading the pack. We've been showing them how it's done because we've been, we've been doing the show from our homes already. And I know that one of the things that you and I talked about, even when we just checked in the, the other day, is the challenges for the parents right now that are single moms or uh, mothers and families that have children at home and being able to work at home and do your business while, while you're also, you know, taking care of business and making money and bringing income and influencing and supporting and doing all these things and and how to juggle that right diane exactly because that's my life <laughs> that, that's actually the reason why i chose to work from home five years ago five years ago if you don't know my story i was a single mom it happened out of nowhere you know i didn't expect that to happen but it, it happened we just don't know where the future is going to take us we really don't but it's really about coming through the adversity and sitting down and getting radically honest. What did I not want to stand up for anymore? What did I want to start inviting? Who do I need to become to start creating a new future for myself? And it was in that moment that I had to step up to me saying, you know what? I deserve love. I deserve abundance. I deserve everything that is my birthright here. And all of us have that same birthright. And as a single mom right now, I'm going through that myself. So when I did my work from home Wednesday last week for the corporation and the company, it was amazing because I'm um, like, I see a lot of people have this extra time, but a lot of people don't have time. I'm actually one of those people where it's like, oh, I got to homeschool now and that uh, clean lady can't come over anymore. So, you know, we're back to like doing all the micromanaging around the house. So guess what? This has also been a very bonding time for I seeing a lot of parents coming back saying, you know what? I'm actually bonding with my children differently now because we have to really show up for each other. We're in each other's space all the time. And I have to get down and do the pillow fights. I do have to get down and play the board games. And these are things that I got away with not doing because I was busy being the mompreneur, right? And, and, and having to, um, you know, I could create play dates. I could do things. I could outsource, but that's no longer an option anymore. So there are gifts in all of this and there's challenges in all of this. And it's really about adaptability. That's what it's about. We have that strength of adaptability. We have to become adaptable. That's how evolution really has continued throughout the years is through adaptation and sitting down going, okay, here we are now. What is it that I want to create? What is it that doesn't work? How can we just rejig this around and be grateful? Because there's so many things to be grateful for. And I'm seeing the love coming through this as well, Cornelia. We were just chatting about that earlier. A lot of people seeing friends, family stepping up, you know, oh. It's amazing. It's yeah. really wonderful to see this. Everyone has their own little lesson in this. That's what I love. There's this level of com universal compassion. We've never seen it on this level before that I know of. And because of the internet, how blessed are we to have this opportunity to have this moment of reflection and have the internet where we can still communicate and connect because human beings, we are meant to connect. Hey, Diane, you know, um, I was I was sharing on the other show that I just did. I was talking about um, how yesterday morning I, I went out into town uh, for my morning walk and doing my morning uh, invoking of the Holy Spirit on, on different things. And I came across this sign and the sign, somebody posted a big, huge sign in their front yard and the person wrote COVID-19 help. If you need help through this, I will help. I can do anything. Please call me, Henry. 
or knock. My number is 360-661-9750. This wow. is the human spirit. I mean, I can do anything. Now, if we can use that as a belief system, if we can use that, I can do anything, we can do anything. What can we do to help? What can we do to support each other? What, we, what can we do in our businesses right now? What can we do? What conversations do we need to have? Because you were talking about how right now is the universal pause, right? And what is it that we can do? What is it that we can create? How is it that we can support and sustain and build our businesses from this new place? You said that we've learned to adapt. I think now with the last couple of weeks and being at home, you learned to how now to adapt with, you know, doing the pillow fights and the, the different things with, with, you know, being at home with your son 24 seven, the cleaning, it's all on you now in that sense right and so because it would make it seem like okay i thought too when people first came home and they all were at home i thought everybody's going to have all kinds of time and nobody's going to be bored i i i i, I don't get bored but nobody's going to be bored but everybody's going to have all kinds of time but doesn't seem like there's a lot of time does there time is a new currency <laughs> time is a new currency what do you want to do with that time that's the magic question. I see this all the time in personal, our personal lives, but I also see it in our business lives. I see it in the workplace, right? We're busy, busy, busy going from place to place to place. But really, you know, it's about creating and carving out the time of doing the things you'd like to do during that time frame. So it is about creativity, adaptability and creativity. Where do we need to get creative? I, I had to face that myself going, okay, that was the old way I Diane did things. Oh, I never had to think about coming up with new games or different ways to parent, you know, we're locked in 24 um, seven, just new things showing up. That's making me look at myself, you know, and that's again, taking that inner reflection, having that radical honesty, taking that inventory is so powerful for everyone on this call, whether you own a business, whether you want to start one, whether you're, you know, just taking a break from work, um, whether you're just going, you may be alone at home, maybe you're stuck with you know, a whole bunch of family members you can't get rid of. <laughs> I've had that conversation too of the ladies that are like, oh my gosh, I'm with three kids and a husband and we all just want to kill each other. <laughs> so there's all kinds of contrast happening in the world. We're all getting a teaspoon or a tablespoon of opportunity or inner reflection and audit. And I say, pull out the creativity card, pull out the radical honesty card, uh -huh. because this is where we have to start to reconstruct during oh. this time frame. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, the radical pull out the creativity card, the radical honesty. I mean, we could have, you know, powwow sessions of let's 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 talk about what the feelings are right now that that are coming up for you. What's coming up to the surface right now that you what needs to be heard. That's why uh, the show I did prior to this one, I was asking for the collective to call in, tell me what it is they need right now. What is it that people need right now because everybody needs something different right? We all need different things. And some people just, you know, what, what is it that you need? You need a little bit of time. You need a little bit of space. You need to be witnessed. You need a little bit of creativity. You need, a, you know, you need some rest. What is it that you need? Do you need a witness? Um, you know, you need a strategy call. You need some support. Uh, what is it that you need? Some ideas you need? What, what, how is it that we can support each other? And I know that you know, you do a lot with so many different people with your, um, with Organo, because as um, for the people that are just tuning in for the first time, you, you are uh, an influencer with Organo. And what is exactly you diamond? What is it that you are labeled as a? A diamond consultant within the company. So, you know, for me, five years ago, this, this particular business model made sense for me. I was looking for a guaranteed model that wasn't going to ask for cash flow, wasn't going to ask for capital, had zero risk involved because I had very little time to play with. Time is a new currency. I'm not afraid of working hard, Cornelia. I'm afraid of wasting my time. And I saw way too many experts and Hay House authors and famous people, the grind that went behind the scene. I just wasn't interested in that. I was so clear on what I wanted. So I just decided to run with a network marketing company, which by the way, are having huge booms right now because people need cash flow right away, but they also want income security that's gonna generate asset income. And that's where people need to understand there's, there is earned income 
paycheck to paycheck. And then there is asset income. Asset income is something you can will out, um, which is what these companies do. And, and it's really important that people don't close the doors on those companies because they have a lot of stigma, which is very unfortunate. Oh so that makes sense for me five years ago. Yeah, but it's really about digging the well before you need it. And if you right now need water fast, I would say this is probably one of the fastest ways to get out of whatever circumstance you're in because you don't have to come up with stuff. You just have to be coachable and hungry. And away we go. That's true. Coachable, being coachable is so important at, at this time, being hungry. And, you know, network marketing, I, you know, because I'm, I'm a lover of astrology, so I use astrology as a, an empowerment tool. One of the things, you know, because we're moving into the age of Aquarius and in the age of Aquarius and a Aquarius is all about networking. So network marketing companies, they're about to get a big, huge boom. That's what the astrology is predicting. So I think that's wonderful. And just this is a private note between me and you. I just ordered my zero because, you know, I talked to you about I am wanting to go decaf now. Right. And I just got my espresso uh, zero and I love it. It's it was it it's really, really I, I was so surprised at the strength of it and also the coffee smell and just the whole it was super, super good. So I just ordered it and I, I got it. So I'm excited about drinking it. And exactly. I'm still gonna do my black. I still like my but I sometimes I, you know, wanna drink a decaf in the afternoon and I have my two cups of regular coffee in the morning. I like to drink a decaf in the afternoon. So the, that, that's going to really do it. And that's exactly it, Cornelia. You hit it on, on the head. And hey, you know what? Anyone that's chiming in right now, if you want to learn more about these industries, here's what I recommend for everyone on the call. And you're in yep. for a special treat if you're going to listen to this uh, recording or this podcast or if you're on live. If you get a chance to listen to this before this Tuesday, which what date is that this Tuesday? Is that the 7th? I believe it's the 7th. Yeah. If you listen to this before the 7th of April, Tony Robbins, a proctor. Les Brown, yeah. Eric Worre, yeah. top trainers, business people, influencers in the world are going to be doing a free live event from 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 12 to 3 Pacific Standard Time. Um, you go to goproworldtour.com. It's for free. And anyone can jump in, hear from all the sages of wisdom about how network marketing is actually coming back right now. There's so many people looking. Yeah. Here's what I recommend. Right now, health products are on the rise and you need products that are recession proof. So if I make it, look at the, look at the company, look at the history, look at the comp plan and make sure that it is a recession proof product. That's what I loved about the company I chose to team up with because it was coffee with a superfood inside that, that has something for everyone. They came out with a decaf for people like Cornelia that right now, it doesn't want to do key decaf and that's A-OK. -okay. They came out with a beautiful mocha. That's actually what I'm drinking right now. Is I love the mix between little coffee, little sweet, little everything, hot chocolate teas, you name it. But it's the superfood that's inside of it. Here's what you may not know, Cornelia. The superfood that we use, the Ganoderma lucidum, is also sold in capsules through other health food stores around the world. But we have the patent on the beverage and make it taste really good. It's really delicious, as you already know. But one of the world leading authorities, Paul Stamets, if you Google TED Talk, Paul Stamets, he's a leading authority in medicinal mushrooms. You're going to be blown at what medicinal mushrooms are doing for the world. And if you go to his website, they are sold out. Like they cannot fulfill orders because they sold out. We actually had a back order happen about a, month, uh, a week ago because of the same thing. So if, you know what? You could be doing folders in your cup. Many people can't even drive out to their Starbucks. They can't even access their favorite old beverages. Now is the time where we'll deliver the product to your door. And if you want to try it, you know, for a dollar a cup, <laughs> absolutely world changing, world class products. But join us on Tuesday. And I say us because I'm just part of the industry, but it is really a third party independent, um, you know, viewing for the world on Tuesday. For anyone on this call, Bob Proctor, Tony Robbins, Les Brown, Eric Worre, just to name a few, it's going to be absolutely powerful and massive. What, so we're, gonna do, really what we're gonna do, you guys, is we're gonna put yeah. the link, we're gonna put the link here in this video so you'll have it. So when you're watching this weekend that you have the link, go register because I, I registered also and marked it out on my calendar um, because it's a three hour event. But you know, here's what here's why this is so important, you guys. It's so important because right now you need to place yourself wherever you are in your home into everything that's inspiring. 
into everything that's innovative, into everything that's positive, into everything that's going to lift you up. You need to be surrounding yourself with that because we know what happens when you're around people that are successful. We know what happens when you are um, doing positive things. And that right now is, the, is, the, is what you need to do because on the flip side of that, there's also all this negativity that's going on out there also. And it can be so easy where you can just catch yourself and go down the rabbit hole and stay in it. And that's the, that's the whole point is, is make a choice, get yourself out of it, you know, um, have a, have a powwow and then come back to the plate and go, I'm, I'm ready for this because I, I talked about this, Diane, is that, you know, our whole world is changing and we're changing, you know, it's never going to be business as usual again. And thankfully so, because our world wasn't sustainable the way that it was before. It wasn't organic in harmony with nature. And we're changing the way we do business. We're changing the way we do our taxes. We're changing the way we do our money. We're changing the way we do our healthcare. We're changing all of those things that um, have kept us, you know, um, not healthy that haven't kept us sustainable all these things need to be looked at and it's not going to be an overnight job it is not going to be an overnight job and what i'm seeing now and this is where i'm saying hey if you have a business model or you're thinking of creating one or you already are working in one where can you step into your further power where can you be a contributor to the world and the new earth maybe it's the way you market things maybe it's the manufacturers you choose to partner with you know, we're getting more conscious and right now we're having such a wake up call. So really, and I always forecasted this, Cornelia, I talked about it in previous shows where I'm like, it's the new people and the new businesses, corporations are not going to be supported universally the way they used to do things before. Just all about the money and greed. There has to be consciousness behind it. There has to be everyone along the supply chain, everyone involved, a universal benefit, a family, an ecosystem. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for an ecosystem of equality and everyone participating in, you know, the balance with the earth as well and what Mother Nature needs. How can we leave less of a global footprint? You know, maybe you, you're you're ordering your coffee cups from, you know, a manufacturer that doesn't use uh, recyclable paper. Like, take a look at all parts of your business. You know, where are you buying your paper from? Um, you know, are you recycling, you know, your pens properly? Like, it's a small little stuff, but if there's more consciousness, consciousness behind it, there's a force that is leading you and supporting you in that process. Do you have a message that maybe you need to share or get out of a little more fear? And, and I can relate to that too. It's funny because a lot I did a lot of my business um, online, off the computer, off my telephone, but I also did a lot of live events. I was always, you know, speaking in different engagements, going to different hotels, uh, flying to different countries, and then all of a sudden this comes to a halting stop. And I didn't really build my, my business really strongly, strongly on social media yet. And I always planned for the day that that happened. And all of a sudden, life's just like, hey, you want to do this now? Now's your chance. Watch what you ask for. <laughs> and I've had to face fears myself going, okay, so what held me back all this time? You know, it's time to really sit back and reassess, getting familiar with different tools. So working from home is really working power, powerfully from home, powerfully. How can you work powerfully and where can you create a sacred space? That's a big one too. Cause now most of us are sitting still going, okay, here's my desk. And it's going to be now my new best friend forever for a very long time. Who knows? It depends on what you want to do with it. But right now, what do I want to surround myself by? Raise the energy of your workspace. Cause the vibrations, everything, right? Beautiful scented candles, uh, essential oils. You know, I actually have a scented oil that gets me into productivity. I smell it and I have this relationship with how I feel before I enter the workspace. Uh, you know, do you need a vision board, a reminder, any quotes around you? Keep it clean. Keep it, keep it, oh, just make it inviting to go to. You don't want to have stuff and paper and everything crumpled everywhere. This is big when it comes to you sharing your message and going out to the world powerfully because it all starts with that one layer is you. Do you feel good stepping into your workspace to get ready to share your message and then start stretching it? So really, it's about, you know, the starting space, which is creating your sanctuary when it comes to work. And I don't know, Cornelia, if you can relate to that, if, if you, I mean, you're very, very in tune. And I know you work from home already, but maybe there's something you do that, you know, people on the, on the platform can probably take away from. 
I love visions. I love, I love quotes. I love essential oils. I love beautiful pens. I have pens with actual quotes on them. (laughs) I just love feeling inspired. Yeah. I mean, and really, I mean, you know, I, you see my space. I mean, you know, what you see the way it has to be, it has to be beautiful. And the reason why it has to be beautiful is because in my belief system, Diane, is that I believe that everything starts from within. And so the space from where I'm working and when we're talking about business and so, and we're talking about home, cause we're talking about those two things today, home and business. And it, to me, it's all the same. It is one, it's, it's one thing. So it's, it's the way I do. One thing is the way I do all things, mm-hmm. right. And it's going to be coming from a place of purity, from a place of cleanliness, from a place of beauty, from a place of harmony. And my home is what ripples out into the world. And so the way I make my sacred space, my ritual, my setup, the way everything is set up is all based on love, honor, and respect, and do no harm. It just is. And so that's the place from where I've worked from the last decade, because I've been working from home for the last decade. I, you know, this has been my, it's been very important to me to, because on a spiritual level, because, you know, I teach um, energy work and spirituality and all these things, helping people to strengthen their spiritual foundation. And that is that, you know, the way that they, because their home is their physical body. My, my home is my physical body. It houses my spirit. Everything that I, my emotional body, my mental body, my spiritual body, my physical body, all one uh, coming together. And everybody has to be on the same page. Everything has to be on the same page and it has to be. So it's that. And the, the physical body is the tree of life. And that is what we are. And every person right now is having the opportunity to look at how they want to do their home look at how they want to do their business, look at how they want to show up in the world according to their own inner authority. Not looking outside of themselves, giving their power away to anyone else. How do you see it? What's important to you? What's your inner guidance say about how to do this? And then have compassion for the times when you're going to come up against your own patterns and habits. Uh, self-destructive behaviors because hey that's the stuff that we're having to clear and move through but in our busyness of running and striving and efforting and struggling and all of the things that we've done to keep ourselves so busy from looking at what's really here now and what we need to do now now is the time I was in my other show Diane I was talking about the first responders right now that I feel so much compassion for, you know, I feel the people that are out there in the hospitals, the people that are out there putting themselves at harm's risk and tirelessly working tirelessly. They, they aren't even with their families right now. They can't even be with their families. They're separated from their families because of this whole situation. And I just feel like that's so out of balance because these people, they don't have the time to do the self inner work right now. They don't have the time to do the things that we're doing. And that's the part, like that was the part in my my morning walk in my invoking the Holy Spirit, sending our prayers to those people that really are on the front lines for us. We are here at home and we get to do this. And this is a sacred opportunity for us. Let us do this work so that when our people are tired and they need support, that there's a balance that's brought into the place that then we can be there for them. I love it. It's acknowledging all the players in this, all the players in this. And if you're home right now, that's a huge blessing. It really is, you know, and you're right, Cornelia, so many frontline workers. I know a few on the team, you know, doctors, nurses, um, firefighters, like they're all out there and they're working overtime. And we have conversations and and I'm plugging in going, how can I support you? You know, do I need to, you know, ship you some coffee? We'll do that. You know, can we, you know, I don't know, get my assistant to drop off some things, Um, maybe treat you to, you know, Uber Eats to any restaurants that are up and running that we can think of ways you can support. I know even the company initiatives. I mean, if anybody on this call has some really great, you know, foundation for your business, how can you support the frontline workers as well? I know we're doing a company initiative where we're collecting um, masks um, in, in terms of donation, the company will actually match that in, in product. 
So there's ways that we can come together. It's about being creative again and asking, how can I support you? You know, I know a few professionals that have decided to jump on this business model, creating a side hustle. Many people have side hustles. Many people are thinking about creating high side hustles because we need multiple sources of income. That's really where you want to start driving your train towards. This is so critical. And I reached out saying, how can I support you and your team? Can I jump on a call with them, help build? You know, it's really about community because we, at our company, we build with community. You cannot succeed without having a tribe around you helping you succeed. And really, that's what life is about. And we're all having this human experience because truly we're souls on this plane to have that human experience. So let's be compassionate to those. Let's be grateful for those that say gratitude and see where, how we can serve as well. So that way, you know, we are all showing up the best way we can. And truly when we, our frequency starts to meet in that space of love and that space of gratitude, it's very high vibrational. Like we're going into energy now. Energy is so real. It's been proven by science. It is so powerful when we all collectively, the collective consciousness all starts coming together, the quicker we're going to be able to move this forward. You know, so, you talked about, you talked about, I love everything that you said, uh, you know, team, it's all about team. It's, it's all about the team. It's all about supporting each other. It's all about asking for what it is that we need. That's why, you know, what is it that you need? What is it that would make your life better? Ask for it. Because again, when we ask for what it is that we need, even if you're just asking spirit, even if you're just asking God, source, the universe, I, this is what I need. This is what I need right now. This is what I need. Being able to voice it out and sharing what it is that you need, what would make your life better right now? We want you in a place that's going to make you feel good, that's going to make you feel supported, and that's going to make you feel whole because then you're, you know, vibing from that place, right? Diane, you were talking about quotes. Well, listen to this quote. This, this, this is really cool. This quote is written by Ganga White. And it says that, what if our religion was each other? If our practice was our life? If prayer, our words? What if the temple was the earth? If the forests were our church? If holy water, the rivers, the lakes, and the ocean? What if meditation was our relationships? And what if the teacher was life? If wisdom was self-knowledge? If love was at the center of our being? And that's true, isn't it? We're actually living a piece of that right now. You know, even the, the pollution. I mean, everyone's talking about it. You know, the water clearing out, the sky clearing out. It's like Mother Nature is being able, given a chance to breathe as well. And for us to, you know, not take for granted the simplicity, going back to the basics, making food, connecting, purposeful, quiet, inner audits, truth, reassessment. It's just, it really is profound. It really is profound. Decide what you want to dial into. Decide what truth you want to listen to. There's negativity out there and there's high vibrating and you know, just make a decision, but start working in that way where we can now start vibrating together. I love that quote, Cornelia. That's beautiful. I'm going to ask you to send that to me if you don't mind later. It's I, so I powerful. Send, yeah, I will definitely send it to you. One of the things this morning I was, I was looking for when I woke up this morning, you know, how I was telling you before the show or on the show, I can't remember how I, I was like, oh, I don't want to get ready today. I'm tired, you know, and then and, and mama, inner mama said, come on now, let's go. And then I was like, oh, do I have to? That kind of feeling. And I, I said, okay. Um, and then I was looking, I have a folder of quotes and I was looking for some of my favorite quotes, like the ones that I absolutely love. And this one was one of them. And then this one, Diane, I want to, I want to tell you about this one. And this one was, you know, I've, I know you've heard these before, and I'm sure the audience has too. But, you know, our, um, this is a Hopi, a Hopi elder says, speaks, and he says that you've been telling the people that this is the 11th hour, and now you must go back and you must tell the people that this is the hour. And there are things to be considered. Where are you living? What are you doing? What are your relationships? Are you in right relation? 
Where is your water? Know your garden. It's time to speak your truth. Create your community. Be good to each other. And do not look outside of yourself for the leader because the leader is already within. Then he clasped his hands together and he smiled and he said, this could be a good time. Perfect time. Divine timing. Everyone joining us today, it is divine timing. Who do you want to become? What do you need to do? What do you need to let go of? Take the inner audit. Get some radical honesty. Look at your sanctuary, whether it's your desk, your home, your backyard. This is the moment to turn around and, and all eyes open saying, okay, here's the habits that don't serve me. Here's the new habits I want to create. This is what excites me. Surround yourself in the beauty and the harmony. That's step number one. Creation comes from being in that space because now it's working, but it's attracting. And I think that's where it's really about, you know, the new shift in businesses and consciousness is also about attracting your tribe. What tribe do you want to surround yourself by? And now with technology, we can do that. So that definitely is step number one in, in working from home and creating that sacred space, whatever that looks like. Top CEO, new startup business side hustle you're creating, but that is definitely the platform you want to work from 100%. I always, you tell us, will you tell us kind of like, what is the day in the life uh, of what your life looks like in a day in the life of Diane Solano? So you wake up in the mornings, uh, you know, what, what, what is your, how do, what just describe us a day? Absolutely. So the days kind of change a little bit during this, you know, new reshuffling, I like to call it. Um, so for me, I have my son full time with me. We, we are home together 24 seven. So I decided that I still want to be powerful in the way I do things and how can I incorporate and model for him. So I love to kick off my day with a morning meditation. And if he's sound asleep beside me, because I still like to sleep with my son, he's only nine, but we still like to cuddle together during this time frame. And I'm going to milk it because I know we'll become 16, 18, <laughs> he'll probably be long gone. But I'm a big fan of that whole, um, you know, connected parenting, that conscious parenting. That's, that's the way I vibrate. So I'll have my headset ready to go right on my bed beside me. So when I open my eyes, mommy has to go within. I just have to. And I have no schedule. And I'm okay with that. So I don't book anything before 10 a.m. Because I don't want to be rushing. I don't want to have alarm clocks. I have that flexibility. So if there's a Zoom call, if there's a three-way call, if there's a meeting I need to be on, it gets scheduled, but nothing gets done before 10 in the morning unless it's a flight somewhere. And right now I'm not traveling. So, so let's do that. Um, and I led him also, you know, what brings him joy in the morning, that consciousness. I like receiving the day in reflection. I can't, mm -hmm. I'm just not a fan of getting out of the bed and going into routine. I think routine lulls the brain to sleep. We need creativity. And then what happens is that I end up doing a lot of coaching. Because I have a very big team that's formed around the world. So I'm very busy with calls. So I have a schedule of what are the specific things that will get me closer to my goals, 80-20 rule. And I will reach out to two leaders. I will reach out to two distributors in the team that maybe don't know me and that's never connected with me. But I want to reach out and say, hey, you're on my radar thinking of you. How can I help? Or I'm proud of you. I mm -hmm. think that's really important as I love building the tribe and I love creating connection and i think that's been one of our success strategies as a company is and even as a team globally is that we have this profound scarcity not even an option in our team all about attraction abundance all about helping and it seems to be working beautifully so it is a combination between a lot of calls and zoom meetings is typically where i see things going the emails come in and out and of course corporates always ask me for stuff but a lot of the coaching comes with right now, I'm coaching specifically on how to leverage your business online and on technology and wanting to share some of the strategies with our viewers today, because some people might relate to this. Um, if they're not part of a network marketing company, it doesn't matter. A lot of the concepts are the same. People are growing their businesses online. So it's really about creating uh, valuable content, um, being careful with claims. And I'm a big fan of, you know, understanding if are you wearing golden handcuffs? There, are, you know, I meet a lot of people that have maybe a doctor to their name or they're a lawyer to their name and, and titles are great, but sometimes they can be a crutch when it comes to creating an online platform. Sometimes you have to get creative and um, how you're going to be able to get seen by more people if you have a powerful message. 
And sometimes that just has to happen for those that are reassessing their businesses, because, you know, take for a doctor, for example, I, I see a lot of natural health practitioners, that's my background, where they can't say certain things or practice certain things in certain states. So maybe they do have to let go of that title or that scope of practice because it gives them a limitation. And like I said, it's the golden handcuffs. So is your message being blocked by some sort of, you know, platform that's just not serving you right now and not being afraid to kind of start letting go of that? Um, also going deeper, I see a lot of people are in deer in headlights right now, but how many of us want to get on online platforms that we're afraid? So we're either afraid of judgment or we're afraid of not feeling loved. And we have to really go into that deeper subconscious layering, myself included. I'm no different than anyone else. These are all things we have to sit back and saying, okay, what are the baby steps I can do to start? What are the tools that I need to download or that I need to get familiar with? Right now, Zoom is having a massive <laughs> growth curve. Um, I started dabbling in Zoom, but now I had to get better. And we had to increase our account from 100 users to 500 users. Oh, good. That's a good, that's a good problem to have. That's a great challenge to have, but it's also claiming to the universe. I will pay the extra $65 because I'm welcoming more people that are saying, you know what? I'm looking for an opportunity right now. I want to dig my well because I either need to drink water or I want to have water for my future. Um, and this happens to be one of those vehicles that's an option for everyone if they're hungry and coachable for it so right now we're getting a lot of people looking inward and, and wanting to know more information so i do right now my day is doing i do almost a zoom every single night tonight at eight, eight o'clock eastern standard time i'm speaking for a group in jamaica um, we have our facebook groups i post where i'm going to be people can jump in on the call if they want they can hear more about the health they can hear more about the business model but it is about delivering value and giving people a sense of joy when they hang up, they feel like that was awesome, no matter what they do with it. You so know? What, what do you think, like, let's just say people are listening right now and they're curious, they, they, they feel the energy, they feel the excitement, because that's a lot of times what I hear when people watch us. Oh, I love that show. I love the energy between you guys. I love what you guys are saying. It's just really inspiring. So people are feeling the vibe. What is it like they're curious about the business that you're in, Organo? the business, you know, and network marketing and all that, like, what would be like, would you get on a strategy call with them? Would you be willing to, you know, talk to them? How, how, how do you want them to go about talking to you? Strategy calls I find are the best because I can give them one-on-one -on -one specific to what they are looking for or what they're afraid of or what they're not clear on. I think it's really important to get educated on the model. And I think it's important for people to understand the value of what we have in terms of product, right? It's a, really awesome superfood infused delicious coffee and beverage line um, they've created multiple verticals because they're growing so big so fast but there's a massive demand for the product we actually don't have enough distribution partners so i'm always looking to jump on calls with people so if they want you know um they can definitely in this chatter in this thread cornelia they can definitely reach out they can go to dianesolano.com um, and my name is spelt with two N's. So it's Diane with two N's, solano.com. And they can book a um, discovery call as well. And we're happily jump on a phone call and we can go through typical Q&A. They can jump on any of our Zooms that we're doing. So a lot of them are around the product. And then uh, we start talking, you know, a little bit about the company specifically on Wednesdays. I just want people to feel congruent. I think it's super important no matter what venture you do. You have to be congruent. You have to be of integrity. You have to have a passion. Um, this happens to be one of those models and products that people have great breakthroughs with and it's product people want consistently. So I love it because reorders is really what it's about when it comes to residual income models and businesses of this nature. Yeah. So no matter what you're looking at, that's important to ask yourself. Yeah. And so many people drink coffee. So many oh, drink, wow. people who drink coffee and it's like, you know, maybe you want to revisit now and look at your relationship with maybe you don't want to go to um, your regular coffee places. I was going to name names right now and then I caught myself. No, don't do that. Um, you don't want to go out. Maybe you don't want to do that anymore. Maybe you want to now do, you know, have your coffee delivered um, and be start making an income, you know, in, in ways that you hadn't thought of before. But so all these things, look at it. I just want to tell you guys, there's a, jet flying over plane. I can barely hear it, uh, myself talk. Um, I want to tell you guys that if you guys want to see all the shows that Diane and I have done thus far, I think we have about six shows done. 
so far. And I can tell you every single one of them it has been, there's been so many resources, so much support, so much inspiration, all about being an entrepreneur, being an energy entrepreneur and growing your business, whatever that is. Like Diane talks about network marketing, the business, it's a model and you can apply that model towards your business, whatever your side hustle is. But if you all want to email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com, I will send you a, a, a document that has all the shows that we've done in this series at the Energy Entrepreneur to your email so you can binge watch them over the weekend. I mean, what could be better than to sit down with your husband or partner and sit down and look at some of these ways on what you can do as an energy entrepreneur yourself? You're going to learn from the best. So you're here and take some notes and get inspired and then look at a way that you can restructure your entire foundation. And I think that also is the gift that we're all given right now in this time period is restructuring. How do we want to do these things? How do we want to pay these debts? How do we want to take care of this? How do we want to do this? How do we want to approach it? These are all ways that are asking us for our keyword. Wait for it. Ta -ta -ta -ta. creativity <laughs> creativity as creators you know that's the thing is that we're not victim there's times to grieve there's definitely times to grieve and there's definitely time to um, you know speak to the victim but we are not victims we're empowered creators and we came here every single one of us whether we remember this or not know this or not but we all came here to be part of this most auspicious time on this planet as so many things are changing we did cornelia and that's where my story began because i was in a version of what's happening right now five years ago i was in a version of it because i was in a brick and mortar practice spent 20 years in health and wellness um loved what i did took a self-paid maternity leave to enjoy you know the, the beautiful gifts of motherhood which i would never ever change and then of course being faced with just some shocking news and realizing I'm a single mom now and I don't know where I'm going to make some income. I don't know where I'm going to find the time to raise a little person. It's 12 hours a day. It was, I call it solopreneurship because at that time I was doing everything by myself, Cornelia. I was wearing the accounting hat. I was wearing the janitor hat. I was wearing the secretary hat. I was wearing the web designer hat. Not that I knew anything about web designing, but I did my best because I had limited resources. And what I knew was that I did not have the time to waste anymore. I needed to make sure that I had an opportunity. I didn't mind working hard, but I needed a guaranteed model. And I didn't know what that looked like, but I knew I wanted location freedom. I knew I wanted time freedom. I knew I wanted financial freedom. And especially I knew I wanted emotional freedom because if something or someone is controlling your emotions, they're controlling your nervous system. And that is something that, you know, I just think that's the, that's the cage of all cages, whether it's a toxic relationship, whether, you know, you have this boss that, you know, you just don't jive with and you got to go to work. I mean, that's really important is having that inner peace. And I, five years ago, didn't have a well to dig into. And, and when I asked my mentor, who, by the way, is happy to be leaning in the team as a world renowned doctor, I asked him, you know, give me advice. What do I do? And he said, Diane, have you heard of Organo? I had no clue. I wasn't a coffee drinker, but I knew about the Rishi. I knew about the superfood. I knew about people loved coffee. And this company just did an incredible job with their price point and the convenience and the, and the flavoring. It was just a smashing success. And at that time, and still till today, no one knows about it very much. So we have a massive demand. And I just started, you know, the work. I was hungry. I was coachable. I was learning. And I started to apply the principles of loving myself in the process, the principles of finding the joy in, con in constructing something and also embracing a tribe because I've been alone for so many years trying to do it on my own. It doesn't work that way. But when you have a tribe of people around you that are there to support you, that can celebrate in your joy, because when you win, everyone else wins. I would never trade that for the world. I don't look back saying I wish I went back to being in the solopreneur ever again. So now it's about, okay, you creating cash flow and knowing what to do with that next. But this is where we help people get it off the ground first. And then, you know, you take the, the next quantum leaps that have to happen. So right now, like I said, Tuesday is this event taking place. It's free for the world. 
it is going to be focused on network marketing because the world is coming together right now. There are a lot of people that don't have capital right now and need a new way to do things. And it is the new earth that's unfolding. So we have top influencers speaking specifically on network marketing companies um, around the world. And like I said, Tony Roberts, Richard Branson, Les Brown, Eric Ori, just to name a few on Tuesday. And even if you don't, if you have another source of business, the value you're going to get out of this is massive. I have top business owners in other countries that love our product. They still continue their business model. They've been to these events and they're like, when is it happening? I, it was so powerful because they usually do live events in Las Vegas and it is a high ticket item and it's a three day event. But given the circumstances of the world, everyone's had to cancel their live events. They decided to join forces and is gifting this to the whole community and the world on Tuesday for three hours. How cool yeah. is that? Yeah, that is. I mean, and that's why like right now, you know, it's, it's, it's such a uh, pristine time to, you said it, inner audit, audit where where you are and where you want to be and know that everything that your heart's desires that you're desiring to be free from to uh work less to have quality of life to be part of a belonging to be part of a team to have financial freedom have time freedom all of these things are all possible but you have to believe and you have to be the one to choose it. You have to be the one that says, yes, I'm all in. I want this and I'm going for it because that this old world, everything that's happening out there, the new world is inside of you. And you're the one that is coming forth and saying, this is what I want. This is how it's going to be. It's going to be built on these principles and this way and then surround yourself with the people that are already doing it and that's the piece so we have so many wonderful tools for you i uh i'm so excited always to um, host with diane because she you know she's so tuned in and she always brings us this electric this absolutely gorgeous energy this beautiful vibration and may this vibration ripple out and find you and touch you and support you and and uh help you in your um, you know, uh, entrepreneurship, right? Entrepreneurship, leadership, leading ourselves, showing up powerfully, being the most delicious version. It's about having fun in the process too, right? That we can't forget is to have fun because that joy and that vision and, and all the delicious flavors of life. I mean, we're here to make a difference. We're here to live powerfully. Let's just do it. Let's just show up and do it. And, uh, you know, Cornelia, always a pleasure to co-host and, and share with you. You contribute in the most amazing ways. So I invite everybody to go through all her calls because Cornelia is just one of those hosts. She doesn't ask questions, but she contributes to her own wisdom and her own ability to dial in. So I think both you and I play in that yeah. fifth dimension where we're just like, oh, this is such good stuff. So I could spend hours. <laughs> totally. We could totally spend hours. Do you love my tree of life in the background? I was looking at that. So it, beautiful. Yeah, it's my tree of life. It makes me feel comfortable in, you know, the lights and it reminds me of the tree of life that's within me. And um, it's just, it's, it's cozy. It reminds me of um, the tree and that, 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 that tree, that inner tree, the, that we all are, and we're building a new earth. And, you know, we've, many of us have been waiting for this for a long time. And um, now is the time we are the ones we've been waiting for. So Diane, as always, my pleasure and honor. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for being my friend and also a beautiful colleague here on the Lady Boss series. Super exciting. Thank you for having me on the show. Anyone on this who's listening, if you have a powerful message, reach out to Cornelia. She's the best. I uh, was always afraid to come out of the closet <laughs> and you, you know, you helped me through that process. So if you're an entrepreneur, and you're looking for a platform and you don't know technology because that was my challenge. Cornelia, you've been a blessing in helping me get my word out into the world. So I'm just telling everyone on the call, if, if there's anyone that you know has a message and is really powerful and intimidated by all that stuff, make it easy peasy, send Cornelia a message and uh, you'll be, have fun playing in, in the fifth dimension as well. Thanks everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Diane. Thanks, Zach. Thanks, Transformation Talk Radio. See you next time.